So I'm going to be honest, I don't know exactly what or where Doe Valley is. I have a rough estimate that's around this area here, so we're just going to assume that's true for this video. So that means that Doe Valley includes this little town here, if you can even call that a town, and then all this farmland over here. So it may seem like a pretty empty area, but trust me when I say that this place is worth checking out. Especially when it comes to this little town here, because I was really surprised of how good the loot is in this one little area. So this area at the top of the town is where pretty much all the good loot is located. So going from bottom to top, we have a gas station which actually has a ton of VHS tapes inside. Side. Then right beside the gas station there's an auto repair shop so you can attempt to salvage your car after crashing it for the 10th time. Then above there we have this building called County Offices which looks pretty boring and looks like it doesn't have anything interesting at all and that's mostly true except there are two bookshelves which maybe could be holding that one book you've been searching across the land for. Then across the street we have a food market with a bunch of crates in the back that are filled with candy and canned foods so even if you aren't able to get here before the food starts rotting you can still loot the back. Then right below we have a doctor's office that has tons of medical supplies, and right next to that is a clothing store. And then finally we get to the cream of the crop, the icing on the cake, the um, well I ran out of things to say, but here we have the military surplus store. Honestly it might be worth coming all the way out here in the boonies just for this one shop because they have everything. They have enough guns here to the point where instead of reloading, you can just pull out a second M16 from your pocket and you can full auto those zombies all the way back to hell. And you are going to need a good amount of ammo for all 5 of the M16s chilling in your inventory, so luckily for you, this place has enough ammo to the point where you won't need to use a melee weapon for weeks. And if your guy was running around without any pants, as you should, you can pretty much find all the clothing that you'll need here. So yeah, this little town is actually an insanely good looting spot, and on top of that, the zombie population here isn't even that high. Like yes, there will be a few hordes here and there, but once you loot the military shop, those hordes are going to change from being a deadly threat to just being target practice. But remember, Doe Valley isn't just this little town, it's this entire area, so we aren't done yet. So down to the left, there are multiple groups of houses, which all have tool sheds right next to them, which not only hold some pretty good loot, but also have a chance of spawning a generator inside. Then directly below the town, there are two warehouses, with each of them holding tons of fruits and vegetables. And I'm gonna be honest, pretty much all the notable locations in this farmland area are just warehouses that hold fruits and veggies, so instead of pointing them all out individually, I'll just show you them here circled on the map. Okay, actually I did lie a little, there are two more locations I do want to point out around here. By these warehouses, houses up here and the warehouses down there, there's some military barracks which are almost identical to the one by Spoodleville that I talked about in my last video, go check it out if you haven't already, but on top of having military clothing these also have a dining building so you might be able to find some food and drink if you've already eaten up all the food in the warehouses. Then lastly I want to talk about this area down at the very edge of Doe Valley which could make for a great base because of one reason. This area has a well and if you don't know wells have an unlimited amount of water so if you live here you'll never go thirsty again. But yeah that's Doe Valley. Most of your looting will take place in this town here but if if you need a pretty much endless supply of food, then just go around the countryside looting the many warehouses scattered around. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please go down and hit that like and subscribe button, it's a great way to support the channel, and comment down below if you've ever been to the low town in Doe Valley, and I will see you all in the next one.